Castro. Yeah. And welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi my name is Vanessa and so today's video I am doing kind of like uh, how I take my notes or how I study how I keep up my grades kind of just wanting to help you guys get through school as well as this helps me kind of get some of my schoolwork done while filming a video so before we get into taking my notes, I thought I'd explain a little bit about myself and like my grades and this weird thing that's going on with my note taking right now. So right now I'm kind of transitioning from this way that I took notes back in grade 9, 10, 11 to this new way that I'm kind of trying to redo my notes in grade 12. And I'm gonna be showing you guys both ways of how I take my notes. Also, I thought I'd let you guys know that I am a straight A student. I don't know how to disclose, like how to create a disclosure. Like I'm not trying to brag about myself but like if you guys want to know from someone that is getting good grades like I have a 95 average so I'm going to be showing you how I study to keep up those grades as well as school is not the only thing that I do I play sports I have a job you have to find time to sacrifice things like for example going to a party to studying and you have to be able to put your grades first and continually work at studying and that sort of thing getting good grades and creating these study habits and note-taking habits doesn't happen overnight so you have to continually work at it I've been having a good study habit since I was in grade 9 so for three and a half years and being smart is one thing but wanting to work at your grades is a completely other thing and so I want to be able to help you guys a little bit create better study habits to get you where maybe you want to be in life or like where you want to see yourself a year from now so if you're watching this especially if you're in grade 9 or in the younger grades I really hope this helps you I really hope this inspires you and I hope that you come away from this video with learning something and something that helps you. So let's go on to what I use to study as well as how I take my notes. This is going to be a fun video so I really hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing that I use is always white out just in case of any mistakes. I also always like to have colored sticky notes with me, some sort of colored pen as well as Copic markers and then if I don't have the right color I'll have a highlighter. I also use Muji pens in 0.5, they are my favorite. I have sharpie pens and a ruler. Next, before I even start rewriting my notes or writing notes or studying, I always like to go on YouTube and find some sort of studying music. So I find that classical music works best. Not only is it proven to be the best for your brain while studying, but it's just very relaxing and kind of helps you out. If you just search up studying music, stuff will definitely come up. So just kind of play around, find what you like before you set up. These are what my notes look like when I take them in class. So I always do rewrite my notes, but if I tried studying off of those, I'd probably go insane. But yeah, I definitely cannot study off of those, so I always rewrite my notes. So as I mentioned previously, I'm transitioning from an old style of writing notes to a new style. So I just wanted to give you a preview of what my old style looks like. It's very cramped, lots of words, not very many diagrams. It was very hard to go off, but the primary basis of what I did was rewrite completely anything what I took in class, exactly how it was, just with the addition of definitions or such that I took from the textbook. But basically I just wrote out word for word what it was and it got very hard to study off of, very boring. It did not work for me and I would just switch from my one colored pen to my black colored pen depending on the subtitle, the title, or the definition name. So you might be able to see why this was so frustrating to study off of and how I kind of wanted to transition. There's so many words and it's just kind of an overload similar to studying off of basically the notes that I took in class, it is not helpful. I'm looking currently for a plain paper notebook, but right now I'm just writing on printer paper and I find that writing on a stack of printer paper helps my writing. And so I've created this little template to kind of show you guys how I write my notes and why and what's going on. So the first thing that I do is write the title at the top, kind of fancy it up, right underneath write, the unit number, the lecture or lesson number, and then the date with an underline to kind of separate that. So I kind of do Cornell notes to a degree, I separate my page into a question section for after and then the actual notes part. So as you can see, I'm writing questions and there I will write my questions and answer them later. So the first thing that I do is write my main topic in cursive 
And then from that, I will do a dash out and some arrows for any information that is going off of that. Any important words or dates always go in my colored pen just to differentiate and make it stand out more. Next, if there's a subtopic to that main topic, what I will do is write that in a different colored pen as well, box that up, kind of just make it stand out from the rest of the information. And then from that, I do the exact same thing. And I'll often make either a bulleted list or I will make a numbered list. Additionally, any short forms that I have go on a sticky note on the side just so I know what those short forms mean and kind of what I'm trying to tell myself. You can also use sticky notes for definitions, but personally, I like to write my definitions on the back of the page. I find it a lot easier than trying to cram it onto a sticky note. Next for diagrams, I always write that in my main color that I'm using, not the black. I'll use black for the actual diagram part, but any words in the diagram do go in the color and then I'll do an explanation in the color as well. That also always gets boxed up. It just gets to stand out on its own so I can see it. I'm finding diagrams are really helpful to kind of show an explanation of what's going on in what you're trying to explain in the note. If you have any other main topics, just follow what you did for the first main topic and if there's a subtopic and so on. If you flip onto the back side, like I said, what I do is create kind of like a key of terms, definitions, and at the bottom, I will box off a section to do a summary and kind of summarize what the lesson was in my own words. I just find this really helpful for anything Thing that's a super long lesson or something that might be confusing and has a bunch of larger words. So now I'm just going to be rewriting a note that I took in class with the addition of some information from the textbook according to that outline that I set up for you guys. So that is how I take my new notes now and I'm still trying to figure stuff out and kind of get into the groove of this new note taking method. It is still new to me so it is not perfect and neither does it ever have to be. I'm very much a perfectionist so I like things that the way that they are. As I'm rewriting my note here I just wanted to talk a little bit about my study habits besides rewriting my notes. Before a test, I typically take seven to 10 days to read over all of my notes from that unit and just every night take about 20 to 30 minutes to read everything that I have learned over. Memorization I find is really key for me to understanding things and knowing things. The more you read it over, the more you find new information and the more you will be able to understand. That's how I find that it works. I'll also go back and read any textbook lessons that I didn't understand, find terms and just definitions, continually just just trying to further my understanding and basically I want to know what I need to know. But I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you found some new study habits or things that can help you get better grades in school, things that can help you take better notes and study better. Also, if you guys want a video on how to make your notes more aesthetic or more artsy, let me know because I've been seeing a lot of those on YouTube and I definitely like to do that as I'm a pretty artsy person and I like aesthetic things and making things look pretty. I'd like to teach you guys how to do that as well. So let let me know, but I will see you guys in the outro. Enjoy the rest of me writing this note. So that was kind of like a quick way of how I write my new study notes and kind of a little overview of how I write my old study notes. But I hope you can see why I've transitioned from the old way to the new way. New way is a lot, I guess, more organized, a lot more visual. It's gonna help me study smarter and understand a bit more. But because I'm still like transitioning over, I haven't worked out all of the kinks of like how I'm doing those study notes. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, hey.